Hey guys, uh, got my cab corner painted. Uh, <clears throat> last night I primed it and uh, it was getting too late, so I figured I'd finish it after work today. So, uh, came home, sanded it down, uh, wiped it down with a tack cloth, and then I, uh, see what else did I do? Oh, masked it up and painted it with a can of rust oleum. I mean, it turned out pretty good for a spray can, so I'm happy. Uh, here it is. Um, of course, I got a lot of buffing to do on the truck to get it to shine again, but <clears throat> over here on the door, I took a little bit of uh, polishing compound on a rag and wanted to see how close it was going to be. Of course, it ain't going to be the same color, but uh, it's not bad. <laughs> I'll take it, you know, it's just for the winter time anyways, just uh, to hold it over until I can paint the whole truck. So I got that done. Uh, well, <clears throat> on the back side, down on the cab, if you look close enough, which I don't know if the camera will even pick it up, there's a couple imperfections, but I, f I, I didn't mess with the back too much because... It's going to be covered up by the bed anyways. But uh, I tried to make sure the front was pretty good. Uh, I'll turn this light on, but it might not work. Uh, it just blinds you. But I'm pretty happy. Uh, inside the cab. Uh, it's so hard to get a good light on this stuff without it shining so bad you can't even see it reflecting but uh got the seam sealer in there and it didn't turn out too bad that's my first experience with all of that stuff really but, uh well by myself i had help one other time uh, from one of my ex-girlfriend's dad, uh, he, he does car work, and he was working on her car, and he'd fill it in, I'd sand it, sand too much away, he'd fill it in again, and I'd sand it again, finally he got tired of filling it in, and just did it himself, <laughs> but that's back when I was like 16, and now I was 18, but anyways, uh, now I'm 34, so, it's been a long time, but, uh, with the Bondo, well not the Bondo, but the uh, fiberglass body filler, it took me a couple tries to get it just right, but you know, just practice makes perfect. I'm happy with it, uh, I won't keep gabbing on, you saw it, <laughs> and I'm happy, so, uh, get some kind of, uh, buffing compound or something I need to get a high speed buffer but for now I guess I just do it by hand and buff the whole thing up and, and see what it looks like I, now I'm going to work on these uh, I don't know if you can even see them there's rough spots just starting uh, I'm going to knock them down with some sandpaper and get them painted up to but I ain't gonna worry too much about that until after I get it inspected and on the road and hopefully I can just get these little spots here and there on the weekends or through the week uh, or I got a, someone else that needs me to help them I uh, worked on my brother-in-law's Durango yesterday for a few minutes and uh, <clears throat> had to order a part for it so when it comes in, I'll have to finish that. Uh, and then I have an, uh, another woman that has a Subaru. She said her wheel belt fell off. Uh, worked on it last year. And uh, some guy had put the wrong lug nuts on the thing. And she said she had to constantly tighten all of her wheels back up because they kept falling off. And I went to the store and got the right lug nuts for it and uh put them on and she hasn't had a problem for a long time so my guess is uh 
maybe one of the wheels got damaged from the guy using the wrong type of lug nuts on it and uh, not, there might not be much I can do other than put a new wheel on it uh, or she can just keep an eye on them make sure they're torqued to the right specs and and do that I don't, I don't know what to do with that yet but uh, she also needs shocks on her truck and she wants rear rotors on it and <laughs> I got a lot of other things around my house that I've been ignoring just to get this truck on the road so like the uh, floors up in the upstairs I gotta get them done too so I got a lot on my plate uh, hopefully we don't get real bad weather uh, too quick that I can get this stuff done I mean they're already calling for snow next week from this tropical storm or, or whatever the heck it was uh, but uh, I'm rambling I'll stop now guys uh, you guys have a good weekend bye